Hey guys, um, so today we're going to be studying Darren Williams, uh, the point guard today for uh, the Brooklyn Nets. Some of this footage is old uh, from his days in Utah, but uh, it's definitely good stuff, so here we go. So here we see um, Darren Williams taking uh, Kobe one-on-one -on -one and getting past him. Uh, what I want you guys to notice is how he sizes up first. He does between the legs then cross, so you're going to see here between the legs and then cross his back. Uh, change of speed and change of direction. Good move. Here we see um, Darren Williams, so he's going to size up and then he's going to shoot a three. This is really important for guards to have a three point or just a shot in general that you can rely upon in games. Here we see again a uh, killer crossover to a shot. It, like I said, it's important to have that jumper. Here, Williams uh, does a pushover, not necessarily a basic, not necessarily your basic crossover. It's more like a pushover, so he pushes it over to his right hand side uh, and then finishes up, up and over the defender. Good play. Here we see Darren Williams recognizing a mismatch. His bears on him, so all he's going to do is he's going to break his ankles with a crossover and shoot that. Uh, Mid-range elbow shot. Good play. This is something Darren Williams is very good at, changing speed. So here you're going to see how he comes across half court and then burst off, changes speed, uh, gets by his defender for an easy lane. This is one of my favorite moves. Uh, we see how Darren Williams is a half spin, runs his defender into the pick, and then finishes over the bigger defender with a pretty floater. So this is pretty mundane, but I want you to notice how Darren Williams on his pump fake, he brings, he shows the ball to the defender and this causes the defender to jump. For these next few clips, you're going to see how Darren Williams performs basically a lost art for guards, and that's having your back to the basket as a guard and being able to work in and around the post. All right, guys. What's up? Um, so I'll just I'm gonna show, go through the designs. I've made two designs so far. Um, so this is the first one that you're seeing. Uh, so it's just white, red, and blue, uh, with my logo on it. Um, and then I didn't do a back design for this, but both of them will have the same back design. Um, so I'll get into the next sweatshirt right now. Um, so this one right here. Um, it's gray, and then it's lime green and black. Um, this was my initial logo. Um, I always just like neon and black. So this was my original logo, and then I my wet my red, white, and blue ones my my alternate one, I guess. Um, so I like both of them really. Um, this one's pretty cool. Uh, so on the back, um, so it says I don't know what I'll be doing tomorrow. All I know is I'm gonna keep playing basketball. Um, so for 
it's going to be the same type of text. It's going to be the same everything, but on uh, this sweatshirt, whoops, back one. On this sweatshirt, it's going to be in red lettering um, instead of black, just because I think it goes better with the color scheme. Um, so basically, um, I'm going to be ordering test ones, and then I'll try to be putting them on my Instagram. Um, so if you want to follow me on Instagram really quick, it's Whitfield, W-H-I-T-F-I-E-L-D, underscore Ian, I-A-N, and then the number two. Um, so Whitfield, underscore Ian, two. Um, so I'll be adding, I'll be taking physical pictures of these um, and posting them on Instagram uh, as soon as I get them. And I think the, first, the white one comes in um, on November 1st, so I'll show you how that one um, looks. But um, in order to get them in bulk because only certain ones um, I can order uh, I can only order or uh, I can only order certain ones in bulk and only certain ones in uh, per sweatshirt right um, so I need to um, basically if you're interested in one uh, email me um, message me on Twitter Instagram whatever um, I'll leave my my uh, stuff my social media stuff below so you can contact me whenever um, and I just basically need to know how many I need to order. Um, I'm gonna need money first, of course, um, and then we can, you know, we can come to a negotiation. I think I'm gonna be selling it for like fifteen dollars, um, so not that much. But um, we'll be doing. I'll be. I'll need money first in order to give it back because it it adds up, uh, and I need to make sure that you're that I get the money because it's gonna end up getting me in the hole. Uh, I'm gonna be end up losing a lot of money basically if I don't get money uh, first. So anyway. Um, that's my little spiel on today. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in a shirt, um, let me know. Um, and I'll be coming out with shirt designs too later, and it's going to be the similar thing. But instead, I'm going to try to do a black one, um, see how that works. I think the black one would be pretty cool. Um, but other than that, uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.